Farnham Castle has a history spanning almost 900 years. Being built in 1139 by one of the bishops of Winchester, it became a home to them for almost 800 years. The castles had great significance since its creation in the 12th century through to the mid 20th century. Today we're doing an interview with Jacqueline, a tour guide at Farnham Castle. There's a whole Tudor wing here. Um, all the Tudor monarchs came to Farnham Castle. Henry VII came. He brought his two sons, Arthur and Henry. Arthur was brought here because he wasn't well, and they thought the Farnham air would be very good for him. And of course, Henry VIII came as well. Arthur died, and Henry VIII became king. He visited many times. He liked the hunting, and of course, this was surrounded by wonderful hunting. So, Queen Mary um, came, um, in fact she was here for a time before her wedding. One of the bishops of Winchester married, before she was married she stayed here, and um, Bishop Gardiner married Mary in Winchester Cathedral, and she rode out from here to be married. Elizabeth came numerous times, in fact she was here the whole summer once because of the plague. And this is Elizabeth? Elizabeth I. Yeah, so all the Tudor monarchs came to stay. Um, the Georges all came. Um, George III drove up Castle Street with his wife and children to see um, Bishop Thomas. Um, in fact, Farnham Castle is really associated. And many of the kings and queens of England came to, to visit Farnham Did Castle. Did any of them ever live here as a permanent? Well, they would live here for a certain time. They didn't have permanent, it wasn't a permanent place, but they came to visit the bishops, many of whom were very important people. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, with regards to, you said earlier, there were conflicts around? Well, well um, in 1216, the Dauphin of France came here, surrounded the castle, um, and took it and lived in it for six months until he was put out again. <laughs> um, of course, it was very much used in the Civil War, because um, the Civil War, Cromwell surrounded here, was royalist, it changed hands a few times. Um, and eventually Cromwell's troops took it and they rode out from here to um, the, 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 the Battle of Cheriton and Basingstoke. Um, and of course, um, after the Civil War, the, the um, Cromwell's troops slighted the castle or the keep and took down the top of it and paved the town of Farnham as a punishment because it had, start, it had been royalist at one stage. And uh, we saw this sort of sign for a drawbridge earlier. Yes, Just there's a drawbridge, yes, there was a drawbridge. Coming in from the, um, the, the entrance, there was a drawbridge across there. And there was also a drawbridge from the bishop's um, palace across to the keep. And uh, lots of castles have moats around. This doesn't have a moat, but it has a deep ditch. A deep ditch, okay. Mm. And it also, you mentioned earlier hunting. There are a lot of monsters. Oh, they came hunt. James the first. The first Stuart king, he was renowned for coming to hunt here. Um, he loved hunting the deer in Farnham Park. So now this building is quite close to the castle. Back then it was just... Oh, there was miles. Landscape. There was the old park across the road, um, which one of the bishops actually sold to um, get some money to restore the bishop's palace. That's Bishop Morley. That is after the Civil War, after the um, Cromwell slighted the keep and after the Civil War, of course, during his time, the, this was empty, it was a secular state. And then Charles I was restored to the throne and he brought with him a Bishop Morley from France where he'd been in exile. And Bishop Morley needed to restore the castle, so he sold the land out over the here, um, known as Old Park, to get money to restore here. But the Farnham Park is enormous. The Bishop of Winchester were very, very rich. It was one of the rich, they were like, like earls. They were extremely wealthy. Canterbury was the highest um, in prestige terms, but Winchester had the money. It was enormous. The, the Diocese of Winchester stretched from Southwark in London right to the south coast. It was enormous. So, and up until um, the 19th century, Victorian Bishop Sumner, um, they collected all the um, they collected all the money from the area, and then it was decided um, that um, it was too it was such a big area that 
the church commissioners would take the money and after that bishops would be paid a salary. So there was Bishop Sumner who was known as the last of the Prince Bishops. And Queen Victoria came with Prince Albert and some of her daughters to visit here and have afternoon tea. Then nowadays, apart from, you know, being quite beautiful, what purpose does it serve? Well, at the minute it is run by um, a company who is still owned by the church commissioners, who have let it on, on a lease um, to a company that do weddings and conferences and things like that. And you can come and stay, you can have your wedding here, guests can come and stay, um, and they do conferences during the week. Uh, is there any significance or any sort of um, link between French and Ponds and... Yes, the bishops put them for water and for fish. They, they dug out French and Ponds. From Tudor times to present day, Farnham Castle has had a variety of uses. It still remains a key aspect of Farnham's history and economy.